All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 17 for today. And in the last episode, we almost got our 2v2 rank back. I'm assuming we're probably going to be around champ 2, champ 3 uh, by the end of these two games. We'll probably find them in these matches today. But we're only sitting at 4 out of 10 in 3v3, so still quite a ways to climb. But we did discover in the last episode that people were pretty stuck in diamond, even champ level players. So we'll have to see if we can climb through that and hopefully discover what we need to do to move forward into higher levels of champ. But of course, before we get into the games, we get to the meme of the day. And we have Black Belt once again, but this time he has has Zen as a clock with the name when this was a pretty good one I, I like how it turned out let's get to the games hope you guys enjoy all right so we did get actually get 3v3 in this uh first game of the episode we do have a champ or a diamond level player this time uh, I'm gonna go back actually I was gonna try and like do a corner cheat but I don't think people really do that I can probably challenge for this guy if he doesn't jump but he does jump and I can go for it big clear on the field you should have this it's a decent touch off that curve because it makes it really awkward uh, for the opponent. So I hit that off the uh, the ramp, and look at that. That's all you need to do is aim. Like the, depending on how you aim for the the ramp here, it can result in such a good um, pass in the mid because I hit both curves on the ramps to give you like a good opportunity to pass it in the middle, and that was really awkward for the opponents. I could cheat on this, but I'm just gonna go back left or back right. Oh, good try from Spitfire. I'm gonna wait for War Chief because he has the ball first, and now I can go for this ball in mid here. It is off the curve. I can see that player behind me trying to chase the ball down. So I know that I can't really get a good wrap around the ball. Good try from Space Invader. A little bit awkward. I am last man here, but I know I can kind of go for this. I'm going to wait for Muffin because he definitely beats me on that touch. Good aerial from Spitfire, though. You see, I don't want to go all the way back. I do have 80 boost. So I'm kind of in a good position. This guy leaves the ball now. Um, Not my best touch because no one's really ready for this. Good save. Definitely sh someone should be uh, going for that. Great, great, um, great shot from Muffin. I could include that a lot stronger. I think that like in that position with them shooting, I just didn't think that it would be a, a, like a, as big of a clear in diamond. I'm not really sure if you'd be panicking, but just, you know, if there's time on the ball and you need to position for the best that you can uh, on these. Oh, oh my God. Oh, big miss. You can't really expect that. I can't really fault Spitfire there because, like, you can't really expect the miss like that. Oh, the double. That's a great pass. Though it seems like in Diamond or Champ, uh, these, like, unexpected doubles are going to be, like, basically a goal no matter what. Actually, it's a triple touch. The second that anybody gets, like, a double or triple, no one expects it. So if you can get really good at those, which obviously is not easy to do. Those are very difficult to, like, follow up on purpose. I'm not even sure if Spitfire was doing that on purpose. But, you know is what it is okay I see that um, space invader is kind of awkward here oh Muffin should have this I'm sitting in the corner here I really should have taken this mid because that player behind me could have taken it See, I'm just trying to wait for the play for the players to not have good control to get pop off the backboard great finish just big misses off the backboard for the uh, the opponents. I wasn't even involved in that play at all. That was both my teammates. Oh, and they left already. Oh, gosh. Might be a forfeit. And it is. Honestly, I didn't feel like I did that much. That first that first touch I got off the, the, uh, the curve was definitely, like, a very well-placed shot. But it just goes to show, like, how much placement really matters. Because you can be in the right position all you want. But if you're not making the right touches or not making the right uh, placement to your teammates, your positioning really doesn't mean anything. Remember when I said we might finish our 2v2 placements today? Oh, <laughs> uh, we got 3v3 again. And this guy says, okay. So I'm wondering if he knows what's up here. Maybe he knows. So my teammate got the corner boost. You can see I'm just trying to loop around, get a couple of pads. I'm kind of bad 2.0, made a good touch across the side, but I have space on the ball. He has full boost. The second I see my teammate get full boost, what I'm going to do is try and grab a couple pads in middle here. That's a good touch off the backboard. It's a little scary because they're pushing up on this. So I'm just going to get the uh, the back corner. It's a great try on the shot there. I'm going to try and stay close to this ball here. The flick here, you can see it wasn't like the worst that I, I could have done. But at the same time, like because there was no one challenging me, just flipping like, on that ball is a little, a little spooky. Great save from I'm kind of bad 2.0. Great follow up too. Now I'm kind of positioning in mid. I don't need to cut my teammate off here, but just in case he wasn't going, I was ready for it. Definitely could have waited. 
Now I have this ball for free because this virus guy is like pushing way too far away. This ball's rolling in the mid. And there we go. A decent chance here because the demo came through from one of the, uh, actually I think uh, someone on the other team was getting demoed. He, no, actually I think I think we got we got demoed, but he was basically in the way. He was a sacrificial lamb in that position. Let me get behind uh, on the back right corner. This ball might be missed. I'm just gonna try and follow this. Really good rush from the other player, noticing that the other guy was missing pretty quickly. Now virus is an awkward spot with his bounce. Oh, good control. I like that he's taking his time. Grabbing the corner boost. You can probably turn on this too. They pop off the backboard. Now, see how I'm positioning for any big clears. Oh. I just touched this to the side. See, I'm cutting the rotation there once I see there's an awkward ball that's spilling into a spot my teammates can't handle. And both of them did commit on that, so I gotta be a little bit careful. It's a bad clear. Pete World might try to challenge it. Once I see that clear coming out, I'm going to the right. Waiting for the touch. I saw I saw a comment or two saying, "Oh, you know, I just want to play fast and like I don't want to pump fake and all this stuff." I don't know, man. If you're gonna play Rocket League at full speed at all times, you're not playing Rocket League properly, if, in my opinion. Because um, even high level pro pros will take the time and slow the game down. Um, so definitely keep that in mind when you're playing the game. If you if you totally want to just move fast, all so be it. Like that's all you know. If you want to do that and you want to play fast and just be zooms zooming around the field. Just don't complain if you're not ranking up. <laughs> That's a great touch from my teammate. It's kind of still scary to go for though. So is this, because you can see like, look at my like indecision to go. It's going to cause the opponent to be able to get a touch. Okay, it's fine. I was sitting in mid just in case that guy missed. Good chip down the field. Good second touch. Somebody my teammate to the left here. Pop off the backboard. Oh my God. That guy like made like a weirdest touch. I've never seen that before. He like didn't even slow it down or anything. Like, what the <laughs> what the heck? Also, four twos by the way. Nice. I'm gonna go. I've I've scored both goals, but both of them have been openings that my teammates have like kind of provided. Uh, except for the the first one was yeah. I mean actually the first one even was because he got himself in the way of the opponent. Good try. I'm last man here, so be a little careful. Should be Fruity Pebble here. You see me like backflipping that is going to give away possession. So I knew that immediately. So I backed off. Just waiting behind my teammates. A little awkward ball here. Pete World's pretty far away. I don't have space on this ball. Hit it forward. Oh, he's up for it. He's, he's pre-jumping. Oh my goodness. Okay. See if Soup wants to catch this. Honestly, good control for my teammates. Teammates going for it. There we go. Let's see if Fruity Pebble goes for this. Get a good clear. I got full boost. You can see how I don't have to play that fast. I do not have to play that fast to be in a good position. Play it well. Just got to be ready for balls to spill out a certain way. Nice. Not the best control. But I, like, I like the idea. One of these play players might be on this. That's a great pinch. I'm gonna try and push out for this because my teammates are both behind me. There we go. I don't want to be. I don't want to be too slow to the point where I'm confusing my teammates because that's like a big problem. If you like are playing too reserved, you can cause like the rotation to be like kind of um, stunted a little bit. This could be bad. You see how like if you're not goal side. Against those those um, 50 50s, it can immediately result in a really poor 50 that gets dumped towards your net. Should be a chance for I'm kind of bad. Ooh, good try. I'm last man here, so I'm just gonna wait for the touch. I wouldn't even say that touch right there was that good because the opponents could definitely pounce on that, but um, it's definitely like a opportunity to make a decent touch to slow down the, the play. I'm going to wait for them here. I'm going to back out because the ball's over my head. And you can see the second I back, back out, one of my teammates uh, backs me up instead. So if you linger too much, your teammate won't be able to come in reliably. So it's really good to like... Um, I'm going to miss this. I don't know if that's like... Maybe that's BM. I, I thought it was going to be in the net, but I thought that was a good shot. Not a bad second game. We got two threes games. The first game was a quick forfeit. Um, 
I got two goals there, which puts me at pretty high on the leaderboard. But honestly, my teammates did a really good job of supporting me. And they did have a champ on their team, but also a platinum. The guy was silver, maybe? That's a really weird lobby. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I think that guy might actually be like silver or gold. He wasn't playing too well. We did get 2v2. We got Sergeant Shifty and Sharp versus Saint Pingu and myself. Let's go for a flip here. This is a higher level, remember? We, we are in like champ level-ish in 2v2. I can turn on this. I'm going to try and control this. He's going for a demo here. I was going to go for the pass. You can see I was my, my body language was trying to put myself around for the pass. Um, but the second I see my teammate go for the, the demo, I instead just um, I instead just go for the uh, the shot towards target. I'm trying to bump this guy. I knew he was going to beat me on that ball. So instead, I'm just going for the, the bump on him on that touch. Oop. You can take it. All good. And we do have a grand champion from season five. Now, I don't know if that's like season five, season five, or season five, season five. <laughs> I guess season five would be like season five, and then season five would be <laughs> season nine, uh, actually 20. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying. If you're new to the game, there's been like a whole reset of seasons. Um, there's actually been 29 seasons of Rocket League. I don't know which one that's from. Because by, by season five, the original season five, I believe that... Grand Champion was already a thing. I don't know if the titles were. Oh, they totally were because Season 3 Grand Champion was a big thing. I've said Season 5 too much. Um, let's move on. That's a good pass back. Might fall on this. It's a good touch as well. I still have the beat on this. I would have if I went a little bit faster. Try and stay in the corner here. That's a good touch. Oh, we got a double actually. Try and pass this. Nice. Ooh, a little strong. Good try. A little scary because this guy's going, but I have the ball for free. And you can see that these players are definitely smarter to realize that there's a chance for me to follow that ball up. So they're being a little more reserved. I can turn on this pretty fast here. Good cut, but it should be my teammate still. Decent job of keeping it in there. Nice flick. Now, if you want to be a little bit careful here, you can just touch the ball backwards off the corner. Across to him. Good first touch. I'm on the left now. Great passing. That's great. That's, that's exactly what we want to see. Like, um, like seeing the space down the field to pop it around players. I really like this first touch from St. Pingu because he actually keeps it away from the opponent on the on the defense. No, no, uh, no uh, thanks. No nice shot. That's fine. Whatever. You know, it is what it is. I'm not sad. Pass it across again. But this, this one was a little bit more obvious. And you know, once you do those passes and they realize that you can make those passing plays, you got to realize that they might start to adapt to that mid game and start to approach it differently. That's where you change it up. You go to solo plays. You kind of use the positioning that they expect you to be in um, to play a different play. Oh, that's going to be open. I really like that touch from Saint as well. This guy's playing really well. He, he is a, a season five grand champion, which is insane. Cause like, that's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I think that, I think the red, no. So that red text means that there was SSL. I don't know when SSL showed up actually. I think it was there by season five. I honestly don't remember. Got the corner or mid boost. This ball pops across. He might have a follow up, but he looks like he's missing. This guy's going too. It's a little scary. It's a good bump over his head pop it up hitting the, the ball with your booty like that is going to be really good good save looks like he's recovering pretty quickly but i'm just waiting for the touch across i like the touch just following it up too a little aggressive because now they have like kind of possession in the back end here spilling in a mid great save though the great touch they have a 2v1 opportunity here so they do Whoa! Okay. <laughs> it was actually a decent play. I should probably push up on this because no one's there. I'm going to try to pass this across again. Look how many times we have like possession here. I'm going to say great pass again. See if he says nice shot this time. And we're just finding so much space in midfield. You can see how like defensive they are. This guy could have cut across mid here. Um, but yeah. Just passing plays are so strong. If players can't position well to cover those kind of opportunities, 
it's gonna be detrimental to the game because we're just like making these soft little touches to each other and that was all champ too so we're moving up pretty quickly in uh in twos here and this is the final oh, we did actually get our our 10th game so we've got uh mr green jeans flick beast and that name yeah that name is interesting I hit this towards net it's not strong enough now i don't need to go with, get the mid boost yet i can wait for the ball to spill here and then hit it off the wall so we're getting champ level players it's definitely faster pace as we get through each of these games awkward ball the way that you you want to deal with that is just by boosting backwards off that aerial or go up the wall but just trying to be in a good position now this ball spills into our corner it's a great double double uh challenge from oh he's faking it double challenge from uh whoever that was in the corner oh good patience maybe a follow-up here okay so this is gonna be them again i'm gonna be a little bit careful with this he does let go of the ball a little bit so i'm just gonna go for a backflip and then try to take this boost from him try and bump oh that works i'm trying to bump that guy because you can see like once i i told i talked about this in the last episode if I'm not in a position to deal with the ball, am I in a position to deal with the players? That's the next question. This should hopefully be my teammate here. It's a good shot down the field. It's not on target. Nice one. Good finish. And that was all my teammate. So I hit the ball forward and then uh, Flick Beast kind of made a bad backflip to give the possession back to Green Jeans. I talked about this a lot as well, that as you get higher up in the, in the, the game, uh, these touches where you backflip it back to the opponent is exactly what the opponent is looking for you to do. So you gotta be a little bit careful with how you place the ball and how you um, make touches. Like, see, the green jeans here made a great touch to follow it really quickly. I'm trying to position it right away for this bounce. And I hear the demo, so now I know there's a free opening for the pass across. Good try on the pass back. This ball's a little awkward for them, so I Oh, shoot. Okay, it's fine. A little aggressive for my teammate. I can turn on this and get a, a clear to the left. Good try. They probably expected a touch from him, so I'm just going to go for this challenge as well. Flick Beast is awkward. Good try. It's off the backboard. I'm trying to read where this touch is going to go. So I know that he's going to have to go on this really early. There we go. It's a fast shot down the field. Big miss, though. Let's see if one of them turns. No one's turning yet, so I'm just going to go for the shot. It's a good clear. Good touch from Green Jeans. I'm going to wait in mid here. It's a great first touch, too. Oh, my God. Okay. My teammates are kind of cracked today. I don't know. That was, like really, that was actually a really good shot. <laughs> like, I would put that at, like, a Grand Champ level. i to take this back. Now, I can sort of draw a player in here uh, to sort of make them do something. Good save. Yeah, that's it. That's a, um, oh, wow. And that, that play in itself just frustrated both of the, both of the orange players. I probably should have let that go in. And if, if I'm being honest, but like I was ready for the miss. What I was more scared of in that situation was, um, nice dunk. Uh, what I was more scared of in that position was the pass out because he had a perfect opportunity to hit that backwards and out to the middle you can see there though if i try to get those possessions where i go on top of my car it can be easily dunked because i can't see the opponent and they get a goal back so hopefully that like clears their frustration a little bit good 50 it should be uh him here over the backboard Oh, that might be actually worse for us. I'll let that in. Because that was a uh, a bad touch for my teammate. I'm not trying to, like, you know, to, like, oh, you know, make him learn that that's a bad touch. But, I mean, it kind of is a learning experience. If that if that puts your teammates in an awkward position, um, gotta you got to realize that you shouldn't be making touches like that. Especially when it was already over the net. Ooh! <laughs> that's a high clear. You can see how much time I had on the aerial. That's a great touch from my team, the opponent, by the way. Um, you can see how much time I had in the air while I still have my flip. So I can still get a really powerful clear. Teammate is cutting off some things that I wouldn't necessarily agree with all the time, but that's not a bad play because I do get possession on the ball. The big clear. 
I'm trying to wait in mid here. I'm trying to look at like where the opponent is. He's in the net. It's a cross. I know there's probably going to be some sort of challenge. And then I have a free free shot down the field. See, like if I was positioned a little too aggressively there, man, they're really mad at each other. If I was positioned a little too aggressively that, there and like tried to be too optimistic on that play being an available shot, I would have just been dunked by Flick Beast and then both of us would have been in the air and recovering on their side. So what do I do instead? I just wait in mid, see what kind of balls spill out to me, and then I get a free shot. That's a big thing about like champ level players. Like some people do have mechanics, but ooh, I think I was gonna hit that ball. Um, people do have the mechanics at times, and I don't mean like very good mechanics. Just like they do have mechanics in some capacity, um, but they just do not position well to make their mechanics really work. Oh, that's an open net. It's a good clear. Let my teammate go here. Great save. This 50 is going to be for uh, Bert here. I'm just going to wait on the field. I think that guy's pretty mad about that. It's towards net. Great try on the shot. Let's stay possession here. Big flick. Going for the bump. Oh my God, he's getting aggressive. And the turn. <laughs> He's like a mad dog running into the net. I like this play, man. That's that's insane. He does like a full 180 or 360 as well. But uh, that's going to be the final game. That should get us our rank. Probably champ two. Maybe champ three if it pushed us up high enough. But I don't think it did. Yeah, that's going to be champ two. Let's see what division we're at, though. Okay, champ two division four. Not bad. So we're basically almost champ three. Um, pretty good set of games. A uh, couple rage quits. I wouldn't say that. I mean, my teammate played really well. 8-16, got four goals. He was uh, in a good spot. It's that was 2015 too, so he's an OG player, kind of in champ. I'm surprised because like, that's a long time to be in, like, not at SSL. <laughs> I'm not trying to, like, bash on the guy. <laughs> but he just played pretty well. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, it's time to make this thing. Get it? I've got a grandfather clock. I've got Zen. And I've got a really messed up clock, which I think will work here. I'm going to try and first filter out the background of the clock. That should do it. Okay, next thing I want to do is I'm going to hide Zen for now. I'm going to try and puppet warp this or warp it into a perspective that works for this clock. I'm going to bring the opacity down. I'm going to distort. We're going to work this into position. That looks pretty good. I think I did a good job. I think it works. I'm happy with it. All right, now with Zen. Okay. Whoa, why is the erase so sort of big? Don't, don't put that in there. I don't know why I said that. All right, let's erase in here. Oh, that's the background. Um, That should work. You know, I really don't like how this background part looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this color. And on this, I'm just going to paint that in. That looks pretty good. I'm happy with this so far. A couple things to add, though. We have successfully removed his name. <laughs> and now we have to add our own. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we want to probably distort this. Smart image. Hello? <laughs> okay, it's pretty good. Uh, one more thing to add, I think. Let's just... Uh... <laughs> and there we have it. There's when. Hope you guys enjoy this one.